This is the casualty department at Mulago Hospital, where renowned pastor and evangelist Martin Sempa is currently serving his sentence of 100 hours of community service. The journey has been hard to arrive here. Okay, we've gone through what we've seen as incompetence of the law enforcement, investigation, the judiciary. We have, we have been at a, at a mercy of such an issue. Excuse me. And it's a busy day for the pastor. Among Pastor Sepa's duties is to receive casualty patients upon arrival, assist them with getting onto the wheelchairs, and then he rushes them to the available doctors for medical aid. Sempa has found this work to be appeasing and he has also created a close and personal relationship with some of the patients. You get to know their issue and then you also pray with them. We have a young man from Kawala, he was knocked this morning, Duncan. His head is gashed, I had to take him into surgery so he can be helped. You know when you get to get to know what is your name, how old are you, where is your home, what is your condition, those are the first information that you get to know about a person. Although the pastor is not happy about the way he came here, he still insists that he finds pleasure doing this work and that he might even ask for an extended stay. The circumstances of my coming were characterized by injustice, brutality, uh, impunity, and a denial of our constitutional rights. But uh, the experience of our, us working in community service is a good experience. In fact, even for me, when I finish my 100 hours, I will add on another 100. Pastor Martin Sempa is the fourth pastor to serve the punishment of 100 hours of community service. The other pastors that were sentenced to court earlier this month are Pastor Solomon Malay, Robert Kaida, and Michael Chose. The four were found guilty of attempting to tarnish the name of Pastor Robert Kayanja. Suhail Mugavi, NTV.